I might have to pop that in the oven because it's so thick and runny. Sausages are tacos de carne asada in the oven. <laughs> what the fuck? Dicing the jalapenos. Hello, sobrinos. My name is Tio Jose, and I'm a real Mexican guy. Let me show you. I have my Valentina sauce right here, and I also have my sartenes in the oven. Today we're gonna be reviewing a video from a chef called Joshua Weisman making steak tacos faster than a restaurant. I mean, how difficult it's to make tacos. Let's see. Tacos. Cheap, easy, fast. Yeah, they are cheap, easy and fast, I would say, yeah. You only need a tortilla, salt, salsa, and that's it. That's all you need to make a taco. Too much intro, come on. Let's go forward here. I gotta pee. He got to pee, what the f Start with the beef taco. We'll start with the breakfast taco. Onion, dice. Onion, yeah, yeah. Really important for tacos. Tomato. Tomato, okay. I I'm guessing that he's making pico de gallo, which is like a Mexican sauce. Dicing the jalapenos. Okay, jalapeño. We don't really use jalapeño on pico de gallo. We use serrano pepper, which is a little bit spicier than, than jalapeño, but okay. Some guys can handle heat. And that's the story. Chop cilantro in, a little bit of salt, peppy weppy. Cebolla, jitomate, cilantro, chile, okay. Okay, mix that up. Pico de gallo, look at that. Pico de gallo, pico de gallo, or salsa mexicana. It's called too, salsa mexicana, or pico de gallo. Let's make the salsa. This is for the steak taco. Okay, now they're making the salsa for the steak taco, which is like a beef taco. We'll just take the tops off of these serranos. Two of those in the blender. Okay, nice. Chile serrano, tom tomatillos, cilantro, limon, cebolla. Get it in there. Oh boy. Yeah, you put the tomates completos, but you need to like slice them down, and then you put it in the blender and. That's done. That's not a finished salsa. Come on. Salsa can be simple. It should be simple. I Put that like five mm. minutes on the heat and that it's a salsa terminada. You know how it is. You go to a taco truck, they got the onions and the cilantro. You can't knock that. That's like probably one of the most iconic combos that just works so beautifully. Yes, yes. Cilantro and onion, perfect with tacos. Always, always with tacos. Very good. So for our garnish, very rough chiffonade. If you want to finely chop cilantro. I hope he washed the cilantro. A little bit of butter, just like that. Sausage will go about that. Like butter, half. sausage. Eggs. Supposed to make two tacos, just making it okay. taco, right? This should make a good See? point for those of you at home. Yeah, I mean, we eat huevo con salchicha tacos for breakfast, so yeah, okay. I'm gonna allow it. This needs to be in there like yesterday. Using that generously with salt and pepper. Pepper and salt, okay, good. Could have been a little hotter, I'll be honest. He's on the other side, heavy, heavy, heavy salt. This is a thick steak, guys. Okay, if you're making tacos de carne asada, you don't need that big fancy steak. You only need like a thin bistec, we call it bistec, beef steak, bistec. You put it in a large comal, and that's it. That's all you need. And it's gonna cook even faster than that, but okay. We got our avocado. Aguacate. This, a okay. Easier. Well, at least he knows Slice how to open the nicely. aguacate. I might have to pop that in the oven because it's so thick for what? me. Sausages are Tacos de carne asada in the oven. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't put the carne asada in the oven, please. Egg. In, keep that away from the sausages. With a wee bit of salt. Too much salt, in. but okay. Stirring. This is gonna get flipped. Carne asada looking, looking good. It's not really that common, but you can eat big fancy tacos, okay. They've left the restaurant. All right, we got uh, garlic and oregano. What, here. what, butter. what are you doing, Joshua? No, no, no butter. No, no, what, why are you putting butter in the taco? What do you think, you're at the French bistro? Carne asada, it's easy. You use salt, put it in the grill, that's it. That's all you need for make tacos de carne asada. What are you doing with all these ingredients? <sighs> There's so many ingredients. Corn tortillas, nice, nice. Tortillas de maíz, nice. Almost all part of Mexico use tortillas de maíz. There's only like the north part of Mexico who uses flour tortillas. Tortillas de maíz, muy bien. Flour, tortilla, done. Well, flour, tortilla, okay. Both tortillas, okay, good. Nice. Our egg going on yeah, nicely. Egg. Sausage, smoke. It looks more like a burrito, uh, but I mean, okay. Ooh, we got four minutes, baby. We'll do this nice tender bit here. Okay, okay, oh, looks, looks good. good. Yeah, That's I mean, sexy. a little bit raw for tacos de carne asada. You don't usually get medium. It's always well done or above even like really crunchy tacos de carne asada, really good. Here's the salsa. Bite it, dip it. Don't just throw the salsa what? on there. Bite it and dip it. No, 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 you don't dip. You don't dip a taco, come on. 
and uh, we're done. 26 minutes for two tacos. We can feed the whole family with 23 minutes, come on. It's like a steak fajita taco. God, that was assembled badly. This isn't about better. It, it looks decent. It does look decent. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look any decent. <laughs> That's not a real Mexican taco. Now mine, a little bit of the salsa. Okay, mm. yeah, you put the salsa. Oh, oh, let me tell you that. The taco has two tortillas. Yeah, we usually do that. Two tortilla taco, it's called la copia. Con copia or sin copia? Con copia, you always say con copia. And why are you using a fork to eat tacos? No, 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 no. You only use your hands. Oh my God, you please, Joshua, come to Mexico. Here you can taste the real Mexican food. Bing, 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 bing. Well, sobrinos and sobrinas, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is like a parody for Uncle Roger, which I'm really a big fan of him. So hopefully you like this video and see you in the next of Tio Jose. Dios me los bendiga.